Bon Appetit, a food sourcing company, is hoping to change the way we eat at the office by providing sustainable food options on the job. The company is popular in Silicon Valley, with businesses like Oracle, Cisco, and Yahoo using its service. In 1999, Bon Appetit started its Farm to Fork program. The goal was to purchase its food ingredients from local farmers and growers within a 150-mile radius from where people eat their food. Helene York is Director of Strategic Partnerships at the company. The idea was that food that was picked yesterday is going to taste better than food that was uh, picked you know, three weeks ago and has been traveled and warehoused and refrigerated and had a lot of things done to it. So we know where a lot of our food is coming from. We know it's fresh picked. We know it's in season. And that extends more than just to produce. It's also seafood. It's also meat. One example is these fresh chili rellenos. Chef Bob Hart is a Bon Appetit chef hired to oversee Yahoo's kitchen. We've got some Bastilla chilies that Sam has roasted and stuffing with some local potatoes, pureed with a little bit of scallion butter and some cheese. He's going to roll them in the flour, dip them in egg whites, and deep fry them. These all come from Swank Farms. Both of the potatoes and the uh, Bastilla chilies come from Swank Farms, which is about 75 miles south of here. Chef Bob also grows fresh herbs on the company grounds and uses a food dehydrator for excess food scraps. We take food waste. We've got fish scraps, some herbs that weren't so nice, some herb trimmings. So we take it, we open up the top of the hopper, and we simply dump it in. We close it, and we hit the start button. So magically, 18 hours later, we'll end up with this. So it, it literally is dehydrating the food. Another important initiative the company is implementing is their low carbon diet calculator. For instance, how does the food you eat affect global warming and your carbon footprint? Let's take a popular lunch item, a cheeseburger. This is a four ounce uh, burger on a bun with some cheese. Drag and drop it into the skillet and you can see that the thermometer on the right rises to almost 3,000 carbon points, and it tells you that this is a very high carbon food. By contrast, let's take a grilled chicken sandwich, and it is less than one-fifth the intensity. So if you want to make a choice, you've got two really great tasting options in front of you, a grilled chicken sandwich is going to be one-fifth the intensity of a cheeseburger. Companies like Yahoo have responded to the innovations created by Bon Appetit positively. But Yahoo also pays a premium to serve locally farmed food to its employees. And in a tough economic environment, the case could be made to cut back on healthy choices to help the bottom line. The economy brings a little bit more consideration on the employees' part, but they notice when they go inside that they're getting really high quality food at a pretty affordable price. And the focus is always on health and quality food, not necessarily just on price. And the execs at Bon Appetit insist in the end, it's smart business. I think the folks who eat at this cafe and a lot of others know value when they see it. This is really a fine dining experience. For $5.75 for lunch, that's a great deal. So a lot of folks see us as providing a great nourishing lunch, and that's value that they're willing to invest in pretty much every day. For Bnet, I'm Sumi Das.